Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. Uh, my name is Dom Warner, thank you for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to talk about Rivian. Uh, now if you don't know who Rivian is, uh, it was founded in 2009 as an American electric car automaker or manufacturer. Uh, the company, company is developing um, an electric sports utility vehicle or SUV you would call it and a pickup truck uh, that's on like a skateboard platform that can be adapted uh, to be used by other businesses. Um, Off-road and on-road driving can be done with these vehicles obviously uh, and as part of the partnership, very famous partnership they had with Amazon, um, they're also building uh, an electric delivery van. Um, they also plan to build or uh, build an exclusive charging system uh, throughout the United States and Canada by 2023. Uh, whether going exclusive is the, is the right idea or not. Whether that's still their current plan, I'm not sure, but that was what they said when they originally uh, started. So they've been around for a little while, um, but uh, obviously they only just started delivering vehicles not long ago, a couple about a, about a month, month and a half ago. Um, on top of that, they also had their IPO, um, where they were very famously went for an IPO price that a lot of people view viewed was uh, overpriced, and uh, it actually skyrocketed from there. And it has come down a little bit, but it's still staying pretty consistent, um, which is great to see. Um, I'm all, all about um, electric cars in the future, and uh, and I believe that there is room for more more car manufacturers, and I think it makes it a bit more exciting, right? I think we, we all get used to seeing the same cars on the road. It would be good to see a little bit more variety and competition um, to also improve the cars as well. Now, one thing that I did notice with Rivian with their new cars that they're coming out, they've been delayed quite a lot. Uh, so uh, RJ Scarringe, I hope I've pronounced his name right, uh, Rivian Automotive Chief Executive uh, said in an email to customers on Tuesday that the company would delay uh, the delivery of its pickup trucks and sports utility vehicles, so US SUVs, uh, with the large battery packs until 2023. Um, this is quite different to what Tesla's done in the past and uh, a new company as well, electric car company Lucid, are delivering generally the more higher performance or hot, larger battery range cars first. Usually that's because obviously they they uh, they their prop the profit margins on those vehicles are greater, and that helps fund and and also uh, leaves decent margins in there for kinks that need to be done um, on the uh, manufacturing on the on the manufacturing line. Um, so you know if there's little hiccups here and there, they're not you losing as much money or going into the red where they would be with the the cheaper cars. However, in the United States and Canada, Scarring said most of Rivian's seventy one thousand pre-orders uh, of the R1T pickup truck and the R1S SUV uh, for vehicles equipped with the smaller batteries uh, that provide around 314 miles of range. Um, he said, in order to serve the largest number of pre-order pre holders, uh, we will be prioritizing building the adventure package with the large battery pack during the next year, Scarage said. Now, personally, I'm not a um, I'm not an investor in this company, but if I looked at it from an investment point of view, I'd probably actually prefer them to deliver the slightly more expensive, bigger packs first. Uh, main reason is is because it encourages everyone to actually okay, I might change my pre-order to the slightly more expensive one, uh, but it also leaves those margins in there, like I said before, um, to fix the kinks in the manufacturing line, which I'm sure they're going through. Um, however, in saying that, that may not be what's actually slowing them down. Uh, it could quite well be, like they said, um, issues with supply chains. However, obviously, if I wanted to buy the car, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be pretty impressed that they're uh, prioritizing the, the, the bigger orders first. Um, earlier this month, the electric vehicle manufacturer also reported its first quarterly results. Uh, as a publicly traded company, as we spoke about before, and outline the production challenges uh, such as supply chain constraints, a tight labor market, and uh, immediate issues with manufacturing electric v uh, battery modules. So it's quite likely as well that the, the larger battery pack, um, yes, I'm, I'm sure they've produced it, a prototype of it, and they've proven it, um, but, whether, but obviously figuring out how to actually uh, manufacture that on scale uh, would be quite a challenge. Um, one charge of the bigger bigger battery packs called the Max Pack uh, should provide around 400 miles of range. The Max Pack is uh, only made up of only makes up about 20% of the pre-orders. Um, according to Rivian, customers will be able to view 
their current delivery estimate on their Rivian accounts in the beginning of early 2022. So that sounds like it's going to be something in live time. I think that's pretty exciting. I think Tesla should actually do something like that too. I know Tesla provide a VIN number when you when you when you pre-order one. Um, but actually getting an indication sort of halfway through, you don't really know. Sometimes Tesla sends an email that indicates that maybe it's coming soon, but it's hard to tell. Sometimes it's just a marketing letter. Um, but generally you don't find out until like the month or a couple of weeks beforehand. Uh, so I think that's really good um, and that they're actually working on developing that. Um, and, uh, you yeah, know, I'm excited to see uh, lots and lots of people driving around these Rivian cars. So hopefully the delays aren't going to take too long. Uh, as you can see, I dropped some uh, a picture of a couple down here um, showing um, the emails that a few people had sent me, um, showing that they were in fact um, behind on deliveries. Thanks for watching guys, uh, you guys have a great day.